You don't have to worry about it. Come on, we'll kill my bottle. There it is, Gloria. Your father spoke the door for me. You must be careful they don't see us, Professor. We've got a chance, that. I'd have him shut off the motor and let the tide carry us in. If I could only get a board, I could use the vanishing ray in Prince Stanley. Yes. And I've brought the death ray in case they start anything. you get here? With Professor Van Dorn in a motorboat. Oh, fine. Well, come on. we got to get out of here quick. Get underway quick, Professor. The ship's on fire. It's full of liquor and liable to blow up any minute. Field. Did you recover the Tribune stock? Sorry to say I didn't, McDonald. I just escaped from an old schooner where I've been held prisoner. That was a plot to keep you from the meeting of the stockholders. Yes, I think it was. But thanks to Gloria and Professor Van Dorn, it failed. We got Stanfield safe on board the Dolphin. Good. Keep him there. McDonald can't do a thing without Stanfield. I have with Stanfield Tribune stock in my possession, uh, which you will see is transferred to me, Gadwell. I shall have absolute control. Yeah, sounds all right. But it would be a lot better if you had a proxy to vote Stanfield stock. Then you couldn't lose. You couldn't get Stanfield to sign a proxy to me in a million years. I know that. I'd take care of it myself. All you'd have to do would be sure that Stanfield didn't escape. Stanfield won't get away from us this time, Cadwell. I left Kent and Stroud on board the boat to make sure of that. Kent, Stroud. <laughs> what do you fellas do? That's about how sure I could be. Thought I told you to stay on board that boat and guard Stanfield. That's what we were doing, but... Never mind the butts. Where's Stanfield? Dead. What? A fire broke out below. When Stroud and I discovered it, the place was a blazing furnace. We couldn't get near him. Stanfield dead? Get out, all of you. I want to think.
If Stanfield is dead, an outright sale of his stock to you bearing his signature would be much better than a proxy. From now on, there's going to be no halfway measures in dealing with Barnett. What do you mean? Just this. I pooled my stock with yours in order to keep Barnett from getting control of the Tribune. I've been willing to let you handle this your own way. But when his men forced their way into my office and threatened me, get away with your stock at the point of the gun, it's time to put the matter in the hands of the proper authorities. You mean notify the police? Exactly. And I'm going to do it right now. Please, Mr. McDonald, don't do that. I'm sorry, Gloria. It's the only way to recover our property and stop Barnett's everlasting plotting. But how do we know Father has a stock? Dorgan may still have it. I don't think that's likely. Just give me one more chance. I'll go to my father and find out. And if she fails to learn anything, it's time enough to notify the police. All right. Thanks. Mr. Barnett in? Uh, yes, miss. I'll tell him you're here. The uh, uh, young lady is here again, sir. Just a minute. I must get these Stanfield bonds back in the safe. Step inside, miss, please. Ovaria, come on, sit down. What's on your mind? I have come to make one last appeal in an effort to save you from the consequences of your own action. Father, if you attempt to vote the Tribune stock that Dorgan stole from Mr. Stanfield, you'll be arrested. <laughs> My dear child, you need to be alarmed. I've had too much experience to be frightened by idle threats. I happen to know that unless the stock is returned, the police will be notified. And Dorgan and the others will involve you when they find themselves faced with a charge of attempted murder. Attempted murder? What do you mean? Your men imprisoned Mr. Stanfield in the hold of the Dolphin, your boat, bound him securely and left him there to die when the boat caught on fire. How do you know all this? I helped him to escape. Stanfield escaped? Oh. And he sent you here to try to frighten me into giving up the stock, huh? Sent you because he was afraid to come himself. Well, you tell Mr. Stanfield from me that I'm going to get control of the Tribune and silence its pages in spite of all of you. You'll never get control of the Tribune with that stolen stock. I won't, huh? It isn't right that you should have it and you know it. Yeah? We'll see about that. Yes, we will. I hope before it's too late. I shall fight to save you, Father, in spite of yourself. Denny, send Dorgan up here right away. For heaven's sake, Stanfield, stop pacing the floor and sit down. Oh, I can't. Wait about Gloria. I ought to hear from her before this. Gloria will be all right. Well, that's her father. He surely won't harm her. Here. I'll show you something to take your mind off this. Something you've never seen before. An iron man, eh? Take a look at it. Move it a little to the right. <laughs> 
thing must weigh a ton. He does. A robot, eh? Exactly. A mechanical man. Now watch. This control is a shortwave radio current. Anyone who knows how can operate it. This robot can do almost anything. Watch. do to a human being. Crush him to mincemeat. It's extraordinary, Professor. But tell me, why are you always inventing things like this of a, of a destructive nature? The robot can serve many useful purposes, as well as deadly ones. Yes, I suppose so. But have you the control perfected so that it's absolutely foolproof? I don't know, Sam. I haven't dared risk it to that extent. That's why I built this secret closet and always keep the control box locked up. Suppose something went wrong with the control. That robot would crash its way through brick walls and crush every obstacle in its path. Nothing could stop it. Well, there's Gloria now. Wait. We can't afford to take any chances. Look. Yes, that's who it is. Open the gate. Well, Gloria, did you get what you went after? Stanley's Tribune stock. No, but I found out where it is. Where? I'll tell you, because I don't want Father to do something I know he'll regret. You'll find it in a safe in Father's office, hidden by a secret panel behind a picture on the wall. Good. We'll go there tonight and get it. Now, wait a minute. I'm perfectly justified in going after it in any way that I see fit, because it's rightfully mine. But I don't intend that either of you shall get mixed up in it. But I don't argue. Perfectly simple. I wear the vanishing rain, take the professor's electric torch. Yep, and your father won't learn the sad news until he goes to open the safe. Did you have any trouble? No, the janitor was cleaning up, so I had to use the vanishing ray. Your electric torch did the rest. Good. 
We'll hurry back to the beach house and no one will be the wiser. Now keep quiet till I get this gate unlocked. As much as your life is worth to touch anything of Van Dorn's. He's got that gate charged with electricity. Well, maybe we'd better wait outside till they come back. No. We'll go over the wall and trap them from the inside. Get the rope of the hook out of the car. Step on it. Do you want to be here all night? Hurt you? I'll use the electrical key. Here they come, Dorgan. Do we grab them now? No, wait till they open the door and get inside. and stock away where it'll be safe. Stay where you are. I stand for your left. Why, you... 